Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to talk about Animal Jam, um, and something that I question about it. So let's get right into the snazzy little video. Also, before I move on, um, I'm just going to tell theories. That's what I really mean about this. And I, I just call it, um, some stuff, like, <laughs> I forgot what I called it, but um, something like that, but I just call it, um, that because I don't really like the word theory, because I don't even barely know how to spell it, and I just do not like the word saying it. A theory is about Animal Jam is that, n um, all animals are different, and I think that all animals are different in many ways except for a few as you can see the snow leopard um looks different from any other animal right wrong can you compare it to the cheetah and even famous jammers say that well they confuse a snow leopard as a cheetah this is not really a theory. I'm just telling. It gets me worked up about this thing that people got going on. I honestly think the cheetah is just a less fat version of the snow leopard. Come on, AJ. Make yourself better. And by the way, by saying that, I don't mean it literally. I, s I love Animal Jam, but sometimes it gets a little out of hand. So my first theory of the day is the rarity system. I think that rares just came upon all the jammers. So say I was, these are all beta jammers and we were in the beta days. So say I was this wolf right here and everything was in stores and everyone was saying not really about trading but a lot of other things so i'm just walking around and then the next day so then i log out and then it turns the next day and then i log back in So, you know how every item was kept in stores except for a few? And then I see all of this stuff here. And I was also a non-member, so yeah. I think that's how the rarity system came. I honestly don't know how the rarity system came. I think that... In the beta days, that they, they um, one day, all of those betas that people were talking about, like the headdresses, and everything, like, one by one came out of stores. And then maybe Animal Jam updated after all those items left stores, and there was barely anything left that they were going to keep, like the necklace. After that, they probably developed the whole game, adding some minor fixes to it, like other lands to it. And then, people knew about rares in other games, so they checked out this game. And so, all of the beta jammers locked back on one day, and then they saw all of these other stuff that they weren't familiar of. So then they came up with a rarity system by themselves. And they just got into rares. And I think that's how it got in. My second theory is about the phantoms. Now, I know in the trailers of Animal Jam that they discuss the phantoms in there. I know all of that stuff. Well, this is my opinion and what it should be. I don't really know how to explain it, but 
this is like my theory on how the phantoms came to be because um it doesn't really give you an explanation of how the phantoms came to be only when mirror like mira um yeah so when mira was living um she created animals and she created phantoms the phantoms looked the same and so they were mad because they didn't look they didn't look very um different and mirror was supposed to make them look different and so the phantoms got mad and so they join up into an army and and try to kill Mira. And that's where the alphas came along. Mira took some alphas. Some animals, I mean. Some regular animals from Gemma Township. And they made an army. Only the alphas that we know today survived. The other ones weren't good enough for training. And these alphas... The making of alphas like that. That's honestly how I think of it. Um, another theory about the phantom is phantoms is that Mira are um, whatever you call call her um, accidentally made the phantoms. Well, they first made the phantoms gr- good. And then they became evil all of a sudden because of some sort of reason. I don't exactly know how to say the reason, but it was some sort of reason. And then it came all back on my other story, just a little bit different. Those are my theory about the phantoms, but I'm going to end this video right here. And I'm sorry about the lack of videos lately i haven't been making videos it's because i'm lazy okay don't judge me and i don't really make videos a lot i only make videos when i have enough courage to when i'm can pick up my microphone yes i do have a microphone that is super sucky because it doesn't actually put somewhere and i don't have a desk it makes it all hard on me but you know and this microphone is attached to my tablet so it's kind of annoying um when when i do it but anyways goodbye guys and i hope you i hope i see you later and goodbye because my brother is annoying me and this video is probably getting too long and i'm sorry about the long videos anyways